My name is Phil Thornton and I'm an editor of the website londonsummit.gov.uk which has been set up within the Foreign Office to create a debate about all the issues that are going to be discussed at the London Summit of the G20 Heads of State on the 2nd of April. As part of that process we're speaking to uh, cabinet ministers in the UK about the issues that particularly affect them. Uh, questions have been submitted through USC, the interactive uh, interview magazine, and we're delighted to be joined by Douglas Ag Alexander, the Secretary of State for International Development now. Secretary of State, the first question comes from someone who calls himself Sadbog74, and they ask whether you can ensure that the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund will be made truly democratic before any agreement is made to give them further resources. Well, as a UK government, we've long been committed to fundamental reform of the World Bank. I worked with others in the last meeting of the World Bank to ensure that there was an extra seat for Africa. Uh, so we see this summit as being an opportunity to drive forward the long-term commitment we've had to the reforms that are needed. Uh, there's a whole lot of discussion to take place at the summit, and we expect after the summit, but we don't want that discussion to go on without resolution. So we're aiming that over the course of the next year following the summit, we can translate the discussion at the summit into decisions about issues like voice, who, who should hold the power within the World Bank and the policies of the World Bank. There's a need for fundamental reform. This summit gives us the opportunity to drive forward those reforms and I hope that we'll see real progress over the coming 12 months.